Hello and welcome to week two of my writing journey of Christmas Deleted, my latest Christmas novel. If you missed all the work up to get ready for writing this entire book in the month of October, then there will be a Christmas Deleted playlist in the description box to catch you up. I am rather pleased with this week's work, as I have a total of seven completed chapters in the book written so far. Two I spoke about last week, and then five more from this week. I realize by the time you see this we are on day 11, and I should be at chapter 9, complete, as I film these ahead of time for you to have on a proper day. I'd say that I'm making pretty, I am pretty on target with writing, and we'll catch up as the story heats up a bit, which we are just getting into the yellow part of the story, which if you don't know is like a temperature blob. You start on green and go into yellow, then the reds, then it settles down to purple and ends in blue to cool things off. So as things heat up in my writing should take off quicker. Getting the foundation laid takes a bit more time, kind of like building a house. Anyway, on chapter three, I spent my time introducing mercy, grace, and hope into the story, along with the Almighty. Yes, God makes an appearance in this story. They tell a little bit about themselves, and they go into a private meeting with the Almighty about their next mission. Chapter 4, I spent time introducing Scarlet to Noelle and Dane, and welcome her into the, her office position. Chapter 5 is a meeting with John Goldberg, who is going to have a larger role in this story than I first thought of, because it happens to be someone that will have a love interest in the story. Sparks flew at his first meeting with Winters and Johnson. At the end of the day, Noelle gets a strange envelope with an even a stranger offer that will benefit her company and take a lot of worry away that she had been feeling lately. That's the thing about writing is stories start to take twists and turns on their own and you don't realize it until the chemistry happens between characters while you're writing that is one of the most favorite part about writing to me is seeing the outcome of a story that i wrote that i had no idea was going to come for me <laughs> it's quite amazing actually
In chapter 6, Dana and Scarlett bump into each other at the grocery store after work, each sharing a bit about their growing up and how cooking certain meals brought comfort to them. This gave me an idea to put a few of the recipes that they speak of during this book in the back of the book for all to experience a bit of Christmas and winter comfort foods that they speak of just as an extra bonus. Um, many of them will be my family favorite recipes or recipes that I have found on Pinterest years ago that I adapted to be my own. But I thought it would be a fun addition to this book. Chapter 7 is a prelude to a complete office meltdown, but just the inkling that something might not be right. It is as simple as they think, or is it going to be a huge hiccup in the plans of many? Stay tuned for more updates on Writer Wednesdays continuing through October, with the final and this part of the writing process on November 1st. As long as all goes as planned, You gotta check out these stats. I'm pretty proud of all I've done this week. Five chapters, 16 pages, 11,267 words, and a total of seven hours and 18 minutes. Not too bad. Let's keep writing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.